Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all having a great and wonderful day. And what we have here is uh, the uh, huge coup that is against Joe Biden here and uh, the installment of Kamala Harris with the Democrats not being so democratic for the democracy because they pretty much installed somebody that nobody wanted to vote for. And uh, yeah, this is how the Democrats play. They just... They don't care about the American people. They don't care what the American people want. They will continuously violate laws and, ex and everything in order to get what they want because that's how the Democrats roll. What we have here is this from Newsweek saying that, uh, uh, that uh, this here. Well, we have Newsweek. We'll go over this too, guys. We'll go over this too. But I'm going to talk about this first. Do we have this here? Kamala Harris almost slips up, up here and says, Recording. Also, there is allegedly an emergency on Air Force One, as you have probably already heard. She almost says recording here, guys. It's really, it's, she's, uh, it's really quite amazing, really, <laughs> on, on uh, what's, what's going on. What, what's going on? It is so good to hear our president's voice. Joe, I know you're still on the, on the call, and we've been talking every day. Um, you probably, you guys heard it from Doug's voice. We love Joe and Jill. We really do. They truly are like family to us. And we do everybody here to us. It's neutral. <laughs> I knew you were still there. You're not going anywhere, Joe. Oh, I'm watching you, kid. <laughs> I'm watching you, kid. I love you. I love you, Joe. That in itself is really, really weird. I don't know what's going on there. See, it, it, it's weird because it's, uh, I don't know, man. Like, that whole in instance is weird. She almost says recording. And then we have this here saying from Newsweek saying Joe Biden hospice care claims debunked what we know. Uh, so um, there's been conspiracies or talk about Joe Biden being a hospice, uh, <laughs> or whatever it says. Right wing commentator Charlie Clough has posted a rumor that President Joe Biden had a medical emergency in Las Vegas last week and maybe in hospice care claims which have been debunked. The Post contradicted the official account on the president's COVID-19 diagnosis and has sparked widespread speculation, but what are the facts? Kirk has also has a history of promoting questionable theories, shared the rumor Monday on X, formerly Twitter. He wrote, got a weird lead on a story that should people should look to. I got a call from a source close to Las Vegas Metro. The official story was that Joe Biden's trip was cut short last week due to COVID. So, you know, uh, the great old coof, right? So, yeah. Uh, I want to say here... That Kirk has previously promoted questionable theories related to the right wing talking points, including expressing skepticism about black pilots' ability to fly planes due to their adversity hiring practices, and in a, in a, in a now uh, deleted 2018 post on X, dramatically overstating the number of human trafficking arrests made under the Trump administration versus the Obama administration. Well, first off, this is not untrue because we know that diversity hiring practices are happening on planes i mean we we know that this is going on so i don't know what they're going on there but uh yeah this is uh but yeah this is claims that he's been in the hospice and then we have this here from nick sorter saying tackling kabbalah harris has just secured enough delegates to become a presumptive democratic nominee for president all without receiving a single vote and they say trump is the threat to democracy yeah so, uh, here, here's the coup, guys. Here's the coup, because, obviously, uh, if people want, uh, want to have, like, you know, the delegates and whatever, uh, uh, for, for nominee for president, perhaps maybe the American people should have a say on who they actually want for president, hmm? Uh, but, you know, the Democrats kind of took this under the rug of Joe Biden here uh, and uh, said, no, we don't want you anymore. We're installing Kamala Harris, and we're not even going to let the American people vote on it. That's just insane. Like, the American people, as we know, the Democratic people, uh, people side or whatever, they wanted to vote for Joe Biden. Well, now they don't even get the choice. They, the Democratic Party just says, this is who you're voting for, like it or lump it, and if you don't like it, well, I guess you just don't get the vote. And you're also a racist and et cetera, et cetera. Insert every type of uh, political woke talking point there. Uh, insult to the people that won't vote for Kamala Harris. So, yeah, really, 
if anybody is a threat to democracy here that we are that we're going to talk about, it, it's it's the Democratic Party at this point. Like who you, you didn't even allow anybody to vote for Kamala Harris, right? You didn't get you didn't even go into the DNC. You didn't wait for the DNC for people to choose. You just automatically installed this person. Like that's completely insane. Nobody voted for this person. And again, we have this here. Biden calls into Harris campaign HQ, tells staff he will campaign for Kamala on the trail as a sitting president. The mission remains the same. I'm not going anywhere. I'm sticking around. So, uh... Go. Uh, so, uh, we'll take a little uh, bite out of this. This is Fox News alert. President Biden called into Kamala Harris in Wilmington, Delaware. Let's listen. Get so much more we're going to get done. And so I want to say hello to Kamala, if she can hear me. I know she's going to be speaking shortly. And I want to say to the team, embrace her. She's the best. I want to call today to thank everybody, everybody in this effort. I know yesterday's news was surprising and uh, it's hard for you to hear, but it was the right thing to do. It's, uh, it, I, I know it's hard because you poured your heart and soul into me to help us win this thing, help me get this nomination, help me win the nomination, and then go on to win the, win the, the presidency. But, you know, you're an amazing team, but we've got a great, great, I think we made the right decision. I know how hard you've worked, how many sacrifices you've made. And so many of you, so many of you uprooted your lives for me and the kind of commitment few people make or anything these days, but you made it. And I've been honored and humbled. I mean, this is from the bottom of my heart. My word is a Biden that for all you've done for me and my family. And you, we built the best campaign in organ, organization in history. I've been doing this. I, I always kid and say, I know I'm only 40, but uh, I've been around a long time. I don't know of a better campaign organization, grassroots campaign. Again, it's really just odd, right? Uh, because... It, it's like, it doesn't sound like it's really Joe Biden, right? It just kind of feels a little bit odd the way he's speaking here. Even people are here are calling it AI uh, and saying that's not him. And it's like, where is he? Because, yeah, he has COVID, but shouldn't he at least be doing some type of like appearances or whatever? Uh, it, it's really odd. So I don't know what's going on here. And then we have this. Top Dems threatened to forcefully remove Biden from office unless he dropped out, set him up to fail at Trump debate. Sources. So it goes to say here that operatives at the very highest levels of the Democratic Party threatened President Biden with forcefully removing him from office unless he stepped down. The well orchestrated palace coup to stop the faltering president from seeking re-election had been in the place for weeks, but stubborn Biden fought it every step of the way, a source close to the Biden family told the Post on Monday. The insider also made, it, made clear the anger, paranoia, and frustration dis Biden displayed as the party elite circled around him and piled on the pressure. Part of the elaborate strategy to remove Biden from the office, as he announced in a shocking letter posted on an X this Sunday, was allowing him to debate Republican candidate Donald Trump last month on TV Live and TV Atlanta. Then the car crash 90 minute debate, Biden com appeared confused, slack jawed, and at one point froze up with his performance turning to the tide against him. Yeah, so, uh,. Again, it's really odd, right, what that's going on here with Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. It's almost like they pretty much did a coup. They just removed uh, they just removed Joe Biden and put in Kamala Harris. So that's the case here. And uh, I, what else am I going to tell you guys? The Democrats don't care about the American people. I don't think they ever have cared about the American people. And until they, uh, <laughs> and they don't show any signs of, uh, you know, going on. So there's rumors that there's hospice care going on. There's rumors that he had a stroke, whatever. That is not entirely confirmed, but we haven't seen him for about a week. And uh, if he has COVID, then, well, well, and I don't know. He should be making some kind of appearance. And then he's going off screen. I mean, it's just really weird, man. It's just really weird. I don't know what else to expect from people, but uh, we'll see what happens. He's supposed to show up at least, I, I'm assuming, either today or if not, <laughs> well, if not today, tomorrow, right? Like, we have to see him at some point, so we're going to have to see, hopefully, uh, hopefully tomorrow, if not in the next few days, because if not, he may be deceased, and we may have to be looking for the worst here. All right, guys, that's it for the video. Let's guys share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.